Hey, come here. Come here right now. Brother, I'm here. Now, sure if they fell or were ejected. Here, I got you. I'll, I'll light it up for you. So you're not Alonzo Williams? No, I'm not Alonzo Williams. For the whole entire population, nothing like that. Welcome to U.S. Criminals. Today we're exploring five cases shoplifters realize they've been caught. Get ready for thrilling stories like share and comment below to join the investigation. If you like this video, press 1. In Jacksonville, Florida, on May 11th, 2023, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office received a call to 929 South McDuff Avenue. When they arrived, a Family Dollar employee told them that a man named Daniel Forrest had stolen from the store and was fleeing the area. I'm like, what? Hey, he's stealing on my store. That guy right here running. Where? Which store? Family Dollar. Did you get that paper? Here, 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 here. Hey, she could you like 144? Do like 144. Do you have a single nine in progress at the Family Dollar 929 McDuff? Yeah, Long now, single nine. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. When the shoplifter spotted the police, he bolted. The cop gave chase and closing in deployed his taser, rendering the suspect immobile. As the suspect hit the ground, the officer swiftly secured him in handcuffs, despite his struggling and groaning. Hey, come here. Come here right now. Brother, I'm gonna fucking tase you, man. I'm gonna fucking tase you. HQ Juliet 144, one tase at the corner of Willow Branch in college. Turn over. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. I don't need 1033. He's in custody, in handcuffs. Just send rescue 1067. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. HQ Juliet 144. Send me another unit, please. Forrest was hospitalized due to internal bleeding and remains there. His family shared hospital photos, expressing concern as doctors warned he might not survive. A warning is given. Avoid law-breaking and especially fleeing from police to prevent tasing or shooting. On 2022, this paragraph describes a tragic incident where a 20-year-old named Shane Warren died in a car accident during a police pursuit following a shoplifting incident. The police were alerted about the shoplifting at Walmart at around 2.30 a.m. The suspect was driving a stolen blue Volkswagen Beetle. The police report states that a car was stolen from the Boston Creek Apartments on 44th Street at noon on Monday. 
When officers attempted to stop the stolen vehicle, it led them on a high-speed chase, reaching speeds of up to 130 miles per hour. The suspect exited the highway onto East 19th Street, where the officer noticed a cloud of dust and slowed down. Before the officer could exit the highway, the suspect lost control of the car, causing it to flip multiple times off the road. A suspect died after being thrown from a car and was declared dead at the location. Additionally, two others, Christy West and Leon Smith, who were with the suspect, were arrested due to existing warrants and taken into custody. It's a tragic end considering the suspect's actions, stealing a car, shoplifting from Walmart, and ultimately dying in a crash, all in just a span of 10 minutes. On May 4, 2023, Officer Perez from the St. Cloud Police Department in St. Cloud, Florida, responded to a report of retail theft at Walmart. A woman was seen pretending to pay for items at the self-checkout. The officer apprehended the suspect and seized items believed to be stolen from her. Stand up. Stand up. I need you to stand up. Here. See the tablet? Put it down. Come on. Stand up and turn turn around. Put your hand behind your back. They want to prosecute your press charges. They want to prosecute your press charges. That's what it is. Stay right here. Do not move. Can I get my medicine, please? Once we're, done, we're, once we're done, yeah, once we're doing what we have to do, I'll let, we will let you get a cigarette. Come well, on. Can I get my other hearing aid for it, please? Let me find it, and then I'll I'll get it for you, okay? That's <laughs> funny. Oh, I think I'm not a lot of pee first. They got to pee so bad. Ma'am, please sit in. No, but I have your, to pee. I understand. It's just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Please. Come on, the, the seat is up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get up, man. You gotta get up. I know, I am. I'm okay. Not. Come on. There you go. Come on. Sit. Sit the right way. I have anxiety. You're fine. You're fine. Watch your... Please, that's what you need to think. Please, you're, don't take me with my daughter. Please. You're fine. Just breathe. Just breathe, okay? I gotta breathe. Can I get a... Can I just play the breathe? Ma'am, you're gonna I fall. I gotta breathe. You're gonna fall. Okay. I have so I'm gonna, You're fine. I'm gonna let you sit like this. I'm gonna buckle you in after. Just sit down and relax, okay? Just breathe. Okay, all right. Nothing else in here. What you just got arrested for, too? No. Possession. Okay. Just 
smoke a cigarette soon. We're gonna let you smoke a cigarette soon. We're gonna let you out. Need you to just listen to whatever we say though. Okay. Alright, okay. come on. I got you. Go ahead. She's up to the door, I, I have this one, this one. The woman kept asking for medicine, hearing aids, and cigarettes while being arrested, despite the officers being as nice as possible. She refused to comply, cried bitterly, and claimed she couldn't breathe with a seatbelt on. The officers realized she was pretending to have anxiety poorly. Despite this, they gave her a cigarette and water to calm her down. The woman managed to smoke and drink with her hands cuffed then begged to finish her cigarette before attempting to escape. She was caught, but kept apologizing, although it was too late. The officers then had to force her into the car and make her wear a seatbelt. It was discovered she had pretended to pay for items at a self-checkout before being stopped by Walmart security and handed over to the police. I'm not going to take you out of the handcuffs. Though. No, I, I know. I... You, you got it? Okay. Here, I got you. I'll, I'll light it up for you. There you go. Okay. I shouldn't have done it tonight. I was, I'm sober. I've been 15 days sober. I shouldn't have done it. I just, I should have. That's fine. You're going to keep your shoes off for now? You're fine right now? You're good? Yeah, yeah okay. I just want to call. Ah, uh, okay. I shouldn't have done it. it. Ma'am, don't move from right there. I will toss it a cigarette. Don't throw it on the ground here. I got your your uh, bottle. I'll throw I, it I in. I don't think you're allowed to leave cigarettes on. I know. That's why I'm telling you not to toss it on the ground. Good. times worse. Why did you think running was going to be smart? <laughs> I don't want to lose everything. I'm a good girl. Please. <laughs> I just got the guy. Oh, I'll pay for everything. Why can't I pay for everything and, and be done with it? The woman was found with stolen items worth more than $1,000 in her bag, which were returned to the store. She was charged with felony threats against law enforcement, misdemeanor retail theft, and resisting arrest. She was released on an $11,000 bond. On August 23, 2022, there was a reported burglary at a residence in Melbourne, Florida. Upon arrival, the police apprehended a black man inside the house. To understand the events leading up to this, we must review the footage of the interrogation between the suspect and the police officer. Before I ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. 
If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind as you wish to talk to me? Yes. Okay. What are you doing in this house? I uh, watch your uh, dog because your dog is sick. Um, Whose dog is it? Lonzo, Lonzo, um, Lonzo. Who are you? I'm Taiwan Jones. I'm, I very so you're not Alonzo Williams? No, I'm not Alonzo. What's your name? Taiwan Jones. I live right there. Taiwan, how do you spell that? T-A-I-W-O-N-G. T-A-I-W-O-N-G. Okay. Jones. Jones. You got a date of birth? Okay. That's probably his mom right there. Mr. Jones. Your mom stays right here? No, my baby mom is right there. In the um, 3 3 Okay. That's probably your mom. So, why are you staying here? Because, um... I was watching the dog because the dog is sick. Whose dog is it? Alonzo. Alonzo okay. dog. So, I, I, why I came, I, why are you I, here with Alonzo's dog? I just came here today. I just came here today. I'm, it's my first time here. Okay. Well, why are you in the house that's not yours? Because uh, he told me to come watch the dog because the dog is sick. I, I, so, I, I, this I is Alonzo's house? Oh, uh, yeah. I was at um, cousin's house. How'd you get in? To the, to the um, side door. The side door? The side door is open. She on um, the open. Okay. What time did you come here? I came here like about, um, I think he's like about eight, nine, about eight, seven. This morning? Yeah. So it's Alonzo's dog? Yes. And you're watching it because it's sick? Yes. Why couldn't you watch it at his house? At my house? But my, I, 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 um, I live with them. They, um, they want the dog there. They, my mom, um, way behind them, they want, they want that dog there. The dog's sick. You see that sign right there? Yeah, I see the sign. Okay, so what does that mean to you? Because I'm um, selling it. Right. That's why there's no furniture or anything inside. So what are you doing in there? I just keep, I just, I just keep watching the dog until, until he comes back. You were watching the dog, there's dog shit and yeah. piss all over the place. How were you watching it? Because the dog just, I, I've been cleaning up. I've been cleaning that up already. No. I've cleaned all that up already. No. Just one, yes, I did. I cleaned it. I just told you to watch your step when we're walking out of here. Yeah. Because there's dog shit on the floor. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, when when we yelled Melbourne Police Department come out and no one came out, why were you in the closet? I was in the closet sleeping. I was I was talking about closet. So you you, I, you, I, sleep I, I, you sleep standing up. I sleep standing up. You sleep standing up in the closet. Yes, I do. I don't sleep standing up. When there was an entire empty abandoned house. That you could have slept in. I just sleep standing up. Okay, why was the dog behind the toilet? So, uh, that's what the dog stay at. That's what the dog stay at. That's all you have to tell me? Yes. That's the dog stay at. Okay. Watch, uh, your watch your knee. Watch your knee. Watch your knee. Watch your Watch your knee. In the first part, a man named Taiwan Jones was found in a house claiming he needed to watch a sick dog. However, he wasn't the owner and he said he thought his mother lived there. He told the police it was his cousin's house and he was asked to watch the dog, but the house was empty, being sold. When the police arrived, Jones was found hiding in a closet, claiming he slept there, standing up while watching the sick dog. The police found the dog behind the toilet. Despite the absurdity, Jones stuck to his story. The situation raises questions about why he broke into the empty house and his strange excuse about the sick dog. To watch the dog. Huh? To watch this dog. To watch the dog. The dog sick. Okay. The dog sick. Very Whose sick. house is this? Uh, um, the finals of um, La La um, Lago cousin house was a cousin house. Thing. You know, it was so you're under the impression that it's Alonzo's cousin's house. Yeah. Who's that? Um, what's the name? I, I forgot the female name. Um, I forgot. Um, I forgot the name. But she used to live here. Okay. So now that there's a for sale sign up and there's nothing inside the house, what did you, what did you think? No, I live here. No, right. I live here. Right, because there's a lock on the front door. Yeah. Right. So you know you shouldn't have been in there. Yes. So, so. But, the, the, I was the dog. I was, I was the so you knew dog. you weren't supposed to be in there, but you were in there with the dog anyway. The dog, the dog was very sick. Okay, but you couldn't bring the dog anywhere else? Alonzo couldn't bring the dog anywhere else? No, because the dog, the dog, the dog won't, um, very, won't let me pick him up or won't move. The dog very sick. The dog very sick. 
all that stuff, all that stuff right there to go with Billy Sue. I, I understand that, but this house is abandoned. It's for sale. It's owned by the bank. You can't just go romping in here. No. I, I, I ain't busting bustin in, no, no, I ain't busting in. I understand that you're saying Alonzo let you in. Yeah. Well, Alonzo's not here. You're here. Uh -huh. You're inside the house. It's owned by the bank, and you just told me you know you're not supposed to be in here. Uh -huh. See how that looks? Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand why you were, besides the dog, yeah, it's just a dog. It, it's a it's a puppy. You can pick a puppy up. Yeah, but it will cry, it cry, it will cry. I, I understand, it, but it's it's a puppy. You mm -hmm. bring them where you want to bring them. I got dogs. I, I understand that. I, I got dogs too, but. Sorry, but the dog. I was scared for the dog. All right. All right. Watch your knees, there. It is clear that the cousin Alonzo in the story drawn by this man does not exist, and the house he broke into belongs to the bank. On April 14, 2023, in Flagler County, Florida, the local police department received a report of a stolen wallet. The suspect is described as a black male. The individual involved claims there may have been a misunderstanding, and a police officer spoke with the woman who made the report. Right. Couldn't change her mind. Uh, she doesn't want to pursue charges. So you are going to go to jail for petty theft. Okay? Um, for real, dog, man. I, listen, I, I told you I can't, I can't persuade her. I can't, tell, I can't talk her out of it. I have to tell her. I told her what well, you told well, me. Why? Huh? Why? For what? Why what? Did she still want to press charges? Because she still wants to. I mean, she she says you stole a wallet. She said there was cash in there. That that that's that's. Oh, there was no cash in there. Listen, and again, I'm gonna know to. So at the end of the day, like I said, it's just the, it's the theft of the wallet. Okay. Like I said, I am I got a notate down. She said that there was cash. I'm gonna say that you said there was none. I she did she can't give me an, um, an amount. She said it was like under a hundred dollars. And I just gotta put it like that. And she, but she, again. My, I left my phone in the back of your car. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. Do you want to call your wife? Yeah. All right. Um, what I'm going to have you do is, i got to put your handcuffs, okay? I'm going to have you step out, just face the car. Um, we'll go from there, and then we'll call her. I'll let you do that. I'll work with you as best I can. Uh, just face the car. Just put your hands behind your back. Turn your wrist in a little bit. Jackson, grab that arm. Turn them in like this. So what I'm going to do, you're a your guy, so it's not... Hurting you or anything like that? You're being nice. Jackson, you know me, I am a nice guy. You, know mm, you have your sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you're not nice. You just yeah. like this you like this guy. He doesn't do this for people. No, I know he, he's pretty cool. I know Don. And plus I'm not giving no, you know. Yeah. Alright. Are those tight or anything? Are those good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um Jackson, can you just walk him over? I'm gonna grab the phone. I heard it slide when it was back there. A guy snatched a woman's wallet, not realizing it had cash inside. Even though he managed to dodge the cops, he's still getting busted and heading to jail. He's kind of clueless about why until the officer breaks it down for him. He tries to reach out to his wife, but gets cuffed before he can make the call. Despite the tense moment, the cop stays pro, helping out and explaining the deal without skipping a beat. Say this right now. Like I know. You're not gonna go into the whole into population, nothing like that. Your bond's gonna be low, okay? It's very low. Yeah, like it's gonna be bucks. low. It, it, yeah, the judge the, they'll tell you when we get there. Um, all right, real quick. Was it face? Yeah, it's face. Uh, I would say that. It is a wifey. Wifey mobile. She can postpone and have you out. If she hours. wants to call the jail, they can start working on that before we even get there. Hey, babe, they, they taking me in, babe. So, 
Uh, I can exp I can talk to her and stuff. Yeah, like that. I don't really know too. You know, I don't know too much about shit like that. So she was saying that uh, she was one of the press charges, talking about it was money in there. I told them the truth okay, about every. The police told the man's wife that her husband was facing a single charge of petty theft. If she wants to start the process of posting bail by calling the jail, she can do so. They can post bail before finalizing everything. He will be brought in, but will only be held in the holding area, not the main jail. The woman still wants to pursue legal action. That's where things stand at the moment. Um, but they do still want to pursue charges. It's only going to be the one charge of petty theft. Um, if you want to call the jail and start working on the bond, he can bo he can bond out before I even finish everything. And they, like I said, they're gonna they'll they'll book him in, and all it'll happen is he won't even go to the main area. It'll just be the holding area. Okay. Um, but again, like I said, I tried to do what I could. My hands are tied. The lady still wants to pursue charges, so. That's just kind of where we're at right now. Okay. All right. Any other questions I can answer for you right now? So I just need to call the jail now? Um, you, I would give it maybe 10, 15 minutes. Let me get them down there. Let me let them know what his charges are. And then uh, that way they can start working on it. And then uh, you can start working on bonding them out. Okay, because it'll probably be after four. I have to wait for my other daughter. That's fine. Yeah. Just give them a call whenever you have a chance and... Uh, they can explain everything and work it out with you, and you can start setting that up. Okay. So, um, but again, it won't be high. It'll, like I said, it's just a misdemeanor. Um, there's no other charges. It's just the one. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna get him down there and just knock this out, so that way he can get out. Okay. I need to ask him does he have any money? I ain't got no. Hey. She wants to. Go ahead. Hey, babe. Do you have any money? Not on me. It's on my card. My wallet and stuff is at the house, in my bag. Okay. And is this on your credit card? Yeah, that. I have some on my, uh, on my, um, Jackson, we have on my cash app. I have some on my cash app, uh. Talking to Juliet 31, Juliet 34, cash Hey, real quick, you been in a, been around anybody with COVID? Yeah. Yeah. Have you had any symptoms or anything? No, I never even had. Uh, have you been out of the state or country in the last two weeks? No. Dispatch has been Delta two twenty four to control. Thank you, Jackson. Fifty one with a Bravo mic, ten fifteen, answer no to COVID. Show some love by liking, sharing, and commenting below. Your support fuels our investigations. Stay tuned for more jaw-dropping cases.